I have my southern hair on this morning, <laughs> flat at the top, and then I get this little flippy thing at the bottom. I don't know. That's just what it is. I have some rules for southern living. Less lotion, <laughs> more deodorant. So it's morning three in Aiken, South Carolina. Why can't I get this top off? Oh, there we go. And it's not too early. It's about 930. This is the skin support from Ion Biome. They're the ones that make the gut health stuff that I take, Ion Biome. They have a skin support now. I really like it. Like I was saying, it's about 9.30. I've already done my walk. And now I need to get ready because I'm actually meeting a real estate agent in a couple of hours to look at a property not to buy, maybe to rent. And I was hooked up with a real estate agent from the little gal that owns this Airbnb. She's not a little gal, she's our age. I don't know why I called her a little gal, but she hooked me up with her friend and I'm going to be looking at a house in a couple of hours. So I thought I'd get ready and we could do it together. I am using this new serum. I love it. It's Youth Bomb from Beauty Pie. I think it has done more to improve the texture of my skin than almost anything I've ever used. It's really pretty amazing. They say use one pump. I used to. <laughs> That's just the way I do it. So all over my face, and I particularly like to make sure I get it around my eyes because that's the skin that could really use some improvement on my face. And then my ordinary Argerlene solution. This is my Botox in a bottle. Just put about half a dropper full in my hand, probably less than half a dropper full, a third would be plenty. And that goes on my 11s and on my crow's feet. What this does is that it actually absorbs into the skin and gets into the muscles underneath your skin and kind of causes them to not tense up so much. So watch when I furrow my brow. You know, that's why we get these 11s. And lately I've been furrowing my brow a lot with what's going on in the world. I've got to relax. Next up is my Ordinary Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. This is new. I'm going to be doing a whole video on this. This stuff is amazing. It does a great job of growing my lashes. It's as good as the one that I had been using from Amazon, but it doesn't turn my eyelids red. I've been using it about two and a half months. They sent it to me early to test it and try it, so I would know what was going on with it when they finally launched it. It's at Sephora. And then for lotion today, I brought along the iUnique. This is their Beta Glucan Daily Moisture Cream. Wow, this is really good. I think I might like it a little bit better than the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Cream just because it looks really pretty on my skin and leaves a really glowy finish. And I like a little bit of glow on my skin. I just think it looks, I just think it helps my skin look a little better. I've had several of you ask me, if I travel alone and am I single? And if I'm single, why am I single? <laughs> so I thought we'd talk about that this morning. The answer to the first question is yes. I travel alone quite a bit. You know, I'll travel with other people if that's the plan, but I've traveled on my own quite a bit. And here's the thing. So far, everywhere I've gone, there's people there. <laughs> It just doesn't end up being, you know, a solo trip. I end up meeting people everywhere I go. I think I'm a little bit like a people magnet because I have so many friends from around the world that I've met while I've traveled, and I just get to know people where I go and do stuff. Like today in Aiken, I'm meeting a realtor that was referred to me by the little gal here at the Airbnb. Tomorrow I'm getting a Reiki session which is so exciting to me, from a Reiki master that lives here in Aiken. She reached out to me and said, hey, come on over, I'll do some energy work on you. If you haven't done Reiki, you got to do Reiki. It gets you all back into shape. And um, there's another little gal that told me about a concert tonight in the park. There's just, you know, I meet people everywhere. I go, I don't ever get lonely. It just doesn't even occur to me to feel lonely. And what I've noticed is that life is a whole lot like kitchen cupboards. <laughs> given enough time, they'll both fill up. So, you know, I have been single for a long time now. I was actually, yes, I was married. <laughs> I was married for over 20 years. I married my college sweetheart and we were together a lot longer than 20 years because, you know, before you get married, that sort of thing. However, I have been divorced a long time and I don't really remember how long it is. I think it's been at least 15 years, I think. <laughs> I don't even remember anymore. And do I ever miss being in a relationship? No. 
I don't. You know, after I was divorced, I did have a couple of relationships. And what I noticed is that my commitment level for each relationship kept going down and down and down. I think I've had three relationships since I got divorced. One was about six or seven years, and that was a very serious relationship. The other two were just people, men. <laughs> I do date men that were fun to hang around with, you know, that like to hike, like to do outdoorsy things, you know. But gosh, I haven't been in a relationship in quite a while now, and I don't miss it at all. Just because I do so much, and to be honest with you, I don't know who would put up with me. I'll give you an example. I moved to the Lake Tahoe area, gosh, I don't even remember now, about two years ago. And when I moved there, I knew it was gonna be temporary. I said to myself, it will be fun for a while because I can do a whole lot of hiking, a whole lot of kayaking, and just have a lot of fun for a few years. Well, it ended up not happening so much because, you know, the whole kerfuffle we're just coming out of now. And then there was just ridiculous fires last summer, you know, fires. If you know, you know. And we spent so much time hiding in the house in my area because the air quality was so bad. I mean, there was like six weeks that you really couldn't go outside. So unfortunately, my grand plans to have a very active summer last summer didn't really pan out just because of a lot of things that were going on on the planet. So I'm going to move now and I... I'm not really sure where I'm going to move to. It might be South Carolina. It might be someone else. But who would put up with that? Who would put up with, oh, let's go here for two years just to play around and then move somewhere else? No one would put up with that. And plus, I don't want to have to get into that battle in a relationship of I want to move, they don't want to move, that whole thing. I did that when I was married. <laughs> You know, the constant battles and just the disparity in interests, that sort of thing. So I find that I just do a lot better on my own and I don't have to get into trying to convince someone to be interested in what I'm interested in. I just end up doing what I'm interested in. That was the Dior Forever Skin Glow. This is the one foundation that I brought with me. Not that I've been wearing makeup every day. One thing I can say about the Dior is that it never fails me. In other words, I don't have to worry about it. It's not fussy. It always looks good. And the makeup I brought with me is the makeup that I have, or some of the makeup that I have that is really reliable. I know it's just gonna work and I'm not gonna have to worry about, you know, having to manage it or having to work with it to get it to look nice. Beauty pie under eye genius. So as far as being single, it's just not something I even think about anymore. And you know what I've found with myself, and if you're single, maybe you'll find this too. I just don't put much effort or energy into creating a relationship. What will happen to me is I'll get someone who's interested and maybe they want to go do things or they'll call or they'll text or, and I just never get back to them. And it's not that I intentionally do that, but what happens is that they'll reach out to me and then I have to think for a minute, like, do I really want to do this? What happens if you get all entangled? I want to have a thoughtful response and then I end up overthinking that and then I just never do anything. So <laughs> there we have it. I don't think I'm very good relationship material at this time. This is the MAC Paint Pot in Painly. I've been using this for my eyeshadow primer. I really like it. So if you're single or you're thinking about being single, doesn't that sound terrible? That sounds terrible. Put a comment down below and tell me what you think about relationships at this age. You know, I would not be opposed to having a relationship if it was someone that you just really click with. But I just haven't met anybody that I really click with and I haven't met anybody that is as open to doing stuff and changing circumstances and learning new things as I am. And at this point, I just feel like there's just a lot left that I wanna see. You know, how long do we have at our age? I don't know, I think maybe 25, 30 years, I'm in good health. I don't wanna be bored for the next 25 or 30 years. I want to continue to do stuff. So I don't know. I might have a relationship again. You might hear me six months from now saying, oh, I'm so in love. <laughs> but right now I am very, very independent. Today I'm going to be using my Dior Quint. This is the only Dior palette that I've tried. I love it so much. This is in the colorway Soft Cashmere. I'm just going to do kind of a little one shadow look today. Really sort of a one and done and, um, and that's it. That's as fancy as it's going to get. So I'm dipping my brush up into this color right here and I'm just going to put a very light coat 
all over the lid, almost up to the brow. Isn't that the prettiest color? This palette has so many great one and dones in it, and the formula is so yummy. Now I'm gonna take that same brush and dip it into this color right here. It's a very pearlescent shade, and I'm just gonna use that really lightly as a topper just to lighten up the whole look a little bit and to give it just a little bit of glow. Now I'm gonna go into the Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Pretty Blushed Beauty palette. Unfortunately, this has been discontinued. I really do love this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and try a couple of more of her face palettes to see if there's any other I like as much as this. This is expensive. In my mind, it's totally worth it. I'm really sorry it's not available anymore. I'm just gonna dip into the bronzer right here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I have the hardest time saying airbrush flawless setting spray. I don't know. So I just spray a little on the tip of my sponge and set down my under eye and the setting powder. I used the Kosas setting powder today. Back into the Charlotte Tilbury for blush. And a little highlight just to lighten things up a bit. Good morning. It is so early. The sun is not even up yet. I can hear the birds though. Day four, morning four of life here in Aiken, South Carolina. Have I mentioned how pretty it is here? <laughs> it is so pretty here. And I am up early before the sun because I'm moving my from my current Airbnb into my new Airbnb today and I want to do it early this morning for a couple of reasons. First of all, <laughs> because the new Airbnb is available at 8 a.m. And second, I'm so excited. I am going for a Reiki session at 10 o'clock this morning. And let me tell you how this happened. I had a viewer reach out to me from my last vlog from Greenville. When she heard I was in Aiken, she said, hey, I'm a Reiki master. Come on over. Um, let me give you a session. I am so excited. Her name is Jen. I'm going to take my camera. I'm not sure if she's going to let me film. I think she might because she does have a YouTube channel. Anyway, I'm going to be getting a Reiki session today, which I love. And I don't know if you've ever done Reiki, but it gets all your energy all lined up and cleaned up. It's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. It's energy work and I'm a huge fan. I'm actually Reiki certified. I'm not a Reiki master. Jen is a Reiki master, and I am so thrilled about that. I have had so many sweet notes and emails and such from so many of you that live in South Carolina, live in Aiken. I'm reading them all. I'm trying to get back to all of you. It's taking me a little bit, but I'm so appreciative. If this is really, South Carolina is just such a wonderfully warm and friendly state. If you haven't been here, you got to try it out. So this morning, I am up early having a little bit of coffee. I'm going to get all packed up. My new Airbnb is just like a minute and a half drive 
premiere. The reason that I'm switching Airbnbs, I love this one I'm at. It is so sweet and so darling. The location is just divine. It's all been good. This new Airbnb has a washer and dryer. <laughs> and I've been sweating so much that my clothes really need to be washed. So I thought, you know, I'll go to a place that has a washer and dryer so I can get that done. Also, it's a house. It's a two bedroom house. I think it's two bedroom. It might be three bedroom. And I have the whole place to myself. This is a beautiful place. It's very, it's quite small, but super cute, super cute. But it'll be nice to have the washer and dryer and that sort of thing. I have been enjoying this town so much and one of the things that I've been doing here is I have been walking about five or six miles a day because I've gotten a little fluffy in the last few weeks and I'll tell you guys about that in a little bit. So I'm going to pack up this morning. I will see you at the new Airbnb. I'm hoping that I'll be able to give you a little glimpse of my soon-to-be new friend Jen and her Ricky room, that sort of thing. So I've made it to the new Airbnb and I have to tell you, it is so much more gorgeous than I even thought. It is just so darling and great location. If you've never stayed in an Airbnb before, it really can be quite the value. This home is really close to downtown great location beautifully decorated and two bedroom two bath washer dryer kitchen great backyard to sit in and it's 88 dollars a night so it really can be quite a great way to stay in some pretty wonderful places for a very affordable price can you hear the birds <laughs> there are just so many birds in this area or maybe it's that there are just so few where I'm currently living. Gorgeous backyard area, so peaceful. I wish Lucy Lou was here. She could run around. I'm going to get busy now and unpack the car because I have my Reiki session in a couple of hours. I'm so excited I'm here for my Reiki session with my new friend Jen and we just spent I don't know some time in her living room chatting it up we're just exactly on the same page it's so much fun to meet someone like Jen say hello hello welcome <laughs> to Jen Zenden <laughs> isn't that just the cutest thing and her studio is lovely it smells so good in here I have to find out where she got her little mister <laughs> It's absolutely delicious. So I'm going to enjoy a wonderful Reiki session. I'm sure I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> and chat it up with my new friend Jen again. And I just am so excited about this. Want to come sit in the backyard with me? <laughs> it's early evening. Gosh, I think it's maybe 5.30. And I went to my Reiki session today. You guys saw it earlier. It was so good so good it was probably one of the best reiki sessions that i have had 
The session itself was really, really good. I mean, she's a good Reiki practitioner. What really sent it over the top was the space. Her space is so good. She calls it Jen's Zen Den. <laughs> And it really is. She had candles everywhere and crystals, which is right up my alley. I mean, she had some crystals that I had crystal envy about. Just gorgeous. And the scent, and she had um, a mister that was sending out great scents. And she used a singing bowl and essential oils during the session. It was really so good. I'll have her listed below. She's here in Aiken. And we talked before and talked afterwards. And gosh, that gal and I are just on the same page. So thank you, Jen, for that. It was really quite the treat. The next thing I want to talk with you about is a skincare fail. It's a fail on my end, but it's going to be good for you guys. It's not so good for me. When I was packing, I knew I wanted to take a couple of my skincare devices, but I didn't pack them up right away. You know how you sort of start packing early, putting things in the suitcase to prepare. I thought, you know, I'll just wait because I want to use them right before I leave, which I did. And guess what? I forgot them. <laughs> I packed my device gel and my device spray, but I forgot the devices. What I was going to bring was my Nebulift and my Myolift QT. Now, you guys, I don't think you've seen the QT on my channel yet. I've been testing it and trying it, and I'm going to do a review. That sucker, they designed a better mousetrap with that thing. It is so very good. Well, I forgot my devices, and of course, I'm not using my red light while I'm here because I can't bring my red light, it's huge. I have a little travel red light. It's a, it's only about this big. It's really pretty small, but it's so heavy. And I just didn't want any more weight in my suitcase. So long story short, I forgot my devices and it's been a week. I've been gone a week now and I can already tell. <laughs> My face is starting to show the signs. And the cool thing for you guys is that you're going to see the difference in a face, mine in particular, when you don't use your devices and how powerful the devices are. So I'm going to show you today what I can already tell on my face. So let me scooch in. <laughs> A little bit closer so you can see you know the light out here is pretty good so it's not gonna look as dramatic as it looks in person you know this is the golden hour light the light that everybody loves for their videos so I'm gonna show you the things that I'm already noticing and here's the interesting thing I can feel it on my face I don't have to look in the mirror I can tell what's going on we're gonna start at the top and work down towards the bottom the first thing that I notice and I can feel it is my eyelids because I'm not using my my Nebulift which I use in my upper eye area and my QT which I use to raise my eye now the QT is a microcurrent device it's like the new face it takes the new face to a whole another level and I'm gonna do a full video on it. it's not a sponsored video it's just because I want to tell you guys so the QT would have kept my eyebrows lifted and you can see right here how saggy my eyes are and I can actually feel this hood sitting on my movable lid. I can so totally tell. And I use the Nebulift up in this area too and it just sort of livens up that skin and firms it up when I do it. Now the Nebulift has a long-term effect of increasing the collagen and elastin production in my face. I love the Nebulift. I love both of these really, which is why I was going to take up the suitcase space to bring them. So the first thing I'm noticing is my eyes and you can see how much more hooded and saggy they look. And the next thing is, is that the crow's feet on the sides of my eyes. Now when I smile, regardless of whether I've been doing my skincare and my devices, I get the crow's feet. But when I'm just sitting at rest, my crow's feet are pretty light here, but boy, they're really starting to deepen and really draw my eye down. So by the end of the two weeks, I'm going to look very different. <laughs> than I usually look. So the first area is my eyes and golly, I can just feel it when I'm blinking. I, I noticed today when I was driving, it's like I can just feel my eyes sinking in on me. The next thing is, is although I think the texture of my skin looks really good, the only thing I have on my face right now is skincare that I did this morning. I did not put any makeup on today. I brushed my eyebrows, I curled my eyelashes and I have a little bit of lip gloss on not colored lip gloss just clear so what you're seeing is my skin from the day and you can see the bags underneath my eyes are a little bit more pronounced than usual if you 
watch my videos a lot, you'll be able to tell the difference. And that is from not being able to use the Nebulift under my eyes. So when I use the Nebulift underneath my eyes, not only does it work for long-term firming of that skin, but it really acts as a lymphatic drainage and really keeps my under eyes looking a lot better than they do when I don't use it. So you can really see the difference here. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna look 10 years older by the time I get home. The next thing I've noticed is my marionette lines they're really crashing in now i use the nira to address those deep creases i have on either side of my face what i'm looking to do is kind of fill in those creases with new collagen and elastin that's what the nira is for but the nira is not going to do anything to keep my face lifted and to keep that skin from folding in that you can see right here what really keeps that skin firmer and tighter is the Myolift QT, which is a microcurrent device like the New Face. So it actually acts on the underlying muscles to pull that skin up. And then the Nebulift, it has the long-term effect of collagen and elastin encouragement, but it also really serves to tighten and firm the skin immediately that lasts for a day or two. And so you can see that those marionette lines are really crashing in. <laughs> and are a lot more saggy, I guess is the word. It's particularly bad on this side right here where I've almost really lost my chin right here. This is probably the side that I favor to sleep on. I don't have my sleep and glow pillow with me, which I generally use to have my face lay in that side opening of that pillow so it doesn't get squished in while well, my face has been getting squished in. So it's really added to this sagginess right here and this loss of definition along my chin line. The last thing is my neck and my neck is looking so much looser and so much less firm. Now I did bring my Invisicrape body balm and that's the only thing that's really kept it, you know, looking even a little bit okay. But what really has helped my neck is the red light device that I have at home. I have a really powerful one. It's really good. For some reason, and I will sit in front of that red light and lift my chin up and just really have it hit my neck. It does so much good things for my neck and it really seems to keep that skin much more alive and much more fresh and a lot firmer. I'm not really sure what the mechanism of action is for that. I do know that ATP, which is the adenosine triphosphate that is generated by the red light, really does help your skin function really well. It's the spark that causes all the growth and the healing on your skin. So here we are at one week. <laughs> I don't even know what it's going to look like at two weeks. It's going to look worse because the, the results are going to start fading away. So what I'm going to do when I get home is I'm going to take some pictures of my face not having done any of my skincare devices for two weeks. And I'm going to do them for a couple of days and we're going to compare the pictures um, side by side, which I actually think will be really interesting. I think we'll learn a lot from that. So I guess it was a good thing that I forgot them. <laughs> I'm not really appreciating it right now, but in the long term, I think we'll all learn something new. So I have another week on my trip. I don't actually have a schedule. <laughs> Of what I'm gonna do. I am here in the new Airbnb. I'm really glad I moved. I loved the first place. I love this place too. It's just bigger and there's a washer and dryer. I've already done some laundry. I washed my walking clothes, which were getting, I mean, I'm telling you what, they were pretty funky because it's warm here. It's warm and humid and I was sweating and wearing the same walking clothes day after day. So I've already done my laundry, had a great day. I'm gonna get up and start doing some things tomorrow. I am actually going to go out for my evening walk in a few minutes. I'm gonna go probably from like 6.30 to 8 o'clock this evening and really try to get some steps in. I've been walking five to six miles um, because, I didn't tell you guys this, but when my daughter came last time, she and I were having a great time and we were at Ulta and all of a sudden I just got hit with this really significant vertigo. And for me, when I get a little bug, one of the things that sometimes happens is I get this tremendous vertigo that the only place that I feel halfway good is laying flat on my back. I am so dizzy when I stand up. It feels like I'm 
walk five steps in one direction and my energy body is five steps in the other direction. It is just terrible. And I'll do things like trip or fall against walls or something. It's really wild. And I'm not sure what it is. Um, I have done all the little things, the little positions that you move in to try to get the crystals in your ear to work through and that sort of thing. Nothing has really worked for me yet except just chilling out for about seven to ten days and it generally takes that long for it to go away. Well, what that turned into is I wasn't able to exercise for that time. I didn't do my rebounder at home. I didn't go to yoga. I didn't do any walking and I got pretty fluffy in a couple weeks time. I'm feeling better now and as a matter of fact I only started getting really better like almost 100% the day before I got on the plane to get here. I was just like oh I slipped in under the wire on that one I'll tell you. And there has been a few times when I've been out walking on this trip that I had to sit down not because I was tired but because I was just feeling a little loopy I don't know why I get this I think I've had this kind of vertigo thing maybe four or five times in the last oh maybe ten years it doesn't happen very often and I am really blessed with great health I really am I am mobile I don't have any issues I don't take any medications nothing I'm really very grateful for that but that vertigo thing I'll tell you it kicks my butt and I have to lay flat on my back and it's the funniest thing when I'm laying flat on my back I feel great and of course you know I'm wide awake I feel great I want to get up and do all this stuff and the minute I get up it's like oh you know it just doesn't work out so I'm kind of fluffy right now so I'm really working hard to kind of you know trim down a little bit I've really only been eating one meal a day here maybe just a little snack at night or something drinking lots of water so that's my story I'm sticking to it anyway I'm gonna leave for a few minutes and go on my evening walk it's a lovely evening here can you hear the birds chirping you know there aren't birds where I live now um, I don't live in an area where there's a lot of trees it's mostly developed area I am so enamored with listening to birds sing so I'm gonna go on my walk I'm so grateful that you stopped by I hope you found this fun and are enjoying joining me on my little trip here to South Carolina. I am grateful that you took a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I am going to be doing a third vlog from South Carolina. I'm going to start that tomorrow and I have news. <laughs> so you're going to want to tune in. Anyway, I want to thank you again for joining me. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. Take care and I will continue to enjoy the beautiful living in South Carolina. Bye now.